Okay, so we can we can start about the hackathon, which is global XR hack. If there is nothing uh, related with the XR bootcamp, um, Sam, uh, yeah, this is now we are starting about the uh, XR hack because there are many people who wants to join the global XR hack. As you know, it will happen in four different destinations uh, in different dates. So please make sure that when you are applying, you are looking at the dates and then make sure that uh, you are applying to the right uh, the hackathon destination because we are basically distributing the applications according to your uh, preference. Perfect. So let's continue um, uh, with maybe explaining a little bit, Rahel, on, about the hackathon, right? Shall uh, we do I that? Mean I would just directly go to the um, questions um, because we already have a few. So um... okay, okay, let's let's answer the burning questions first. So uh, yes, you can participate from any country as long as you can somehow bring yourself to that country. Uh, and the good news is some of the uh, part like uh, our organizers also have a great connection with the government, and some of them are governmental bodies. Well, it's very rapid. Super. This means that we can uh, basically um, help you on the invite letter, if it makes sense. So this is something that we can definitely help you. Uh, and you can join from everywhere, as long as it fits to uh, your Yeah, so schedule. I'm just repeating the questions that were outstanding. So is this, do we need to use your API? Uh, during the hack or can we use our own framework and engine okay let me let me answer that uh, your api i mean uh, we don't have an api or headset yet as xr bootcamp or xr hack community i wish we have uh, but i don't think that we can compete with apple and meta uh, our team has uh, of course our instructors have some apis but uh, like joke aside uh, you are probably meaning meta uh, yes this is uh, especially this year's hackathon it will be purely focused on Quest 3 capabilities, meta presence platform capabilities, and it will be mostly focusing on uh, mixed reality. Uh, as I mentioned to you, like you can also look at here, interaction SDK, mixed reality pass through scene understanding, depth API. So all the things that you are seeing in this course will be your, I would say, tool set. On top of this, we are also open that if you want to use several different APIs, SDKs, perfect. But these are the fundamental things that the as uh, as you see here, um, the 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 um, like the um, the categories are also mixed reality. So we want to make sure that you are uh, fitting to that uh, requirement. Uh, I can also, if you want to, maybe we can also share this dev post Rahel uh, as a link. Uh, I shared, I shared. Um, okay, perfect. Yeah, so so, so the give... other questions, I mean, most of the questions are about like um, responses and when we're going to send out the replies and the, for the applications. Okay, so let me let me also quickly, uh, since this API is an important thing, right? Uh, just to give everyone an idea, uh, what are the, it will not be so different than uh, the dev post hackathon. So um, the first thing is very, very important is it should be unique. So please, please, please look at dev post uh, projects there, winner projects. Uh, there is already all projects are listed here. There is already, I know, 200 projects, but at least you can look at the winners and the, sorry, um, uh, project gallery. Yeah, project gallery. So um, please look at that, at least to have an idea uh, how, what kind of projects are being named as compelling, right? So it should be unique. So if you are doing, for example, a cooking app, which they already won the prize here, right? You need to be very unique still. Why it is different than Flavior, right? Uh, and as you see here, instead of like even games, it's really mixed reality heavy and focused. So just try to find concepts from real world and then try to bring it to mixed reality. But the, uh, the most important thing that you need to consider as well, why mixed reality? Why not it is an app for VR? Or why I need that app that I need to put headset on top? Why it makes me uh, think that this is 
this is a um, like an important or it can be a, like a really compelling app that makes me start using a headset so the 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 judge will definitely look at how your concept unique concept helps the um the the uh uh, the 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 end users start using VR for that specific purpose. Okay, and use of capabilities. There was a question about API. Exactly. So, what kind of SDKs you are using? The more SDKs you use from mixed reality uh, tool, uh, sorry, uh, from Meta Presence platform toolkit, uh, the more grading uh, and the, the more chance that you will get points from this. Uh, category okay yeah and there's the just a confusion i just want to clarify because it's coming yeah. up in the chat um Sam, like we're really just like this mixed reality course it's for free i sent the free link in the chat and it's also like a question that we're asking in the application like how's your mixed reality skills because we want people who are participating in the hack to have mixed reality skills so that's why we're just posting the free course link in the chat because it's um it's the most updated course out there on mixed reality um, skills and it's not a long course i believe it's just like two three hours so um yeah it would really um also in the application form we're asking your mixed reality course uh, skills and um and you will be conditionally accepted if you don't have skills mr skills but then we expect you to basically finish the course before coming to the hack. So just as Ray said, um, yeah, to to it should just help you. It's for free. It's one hundred percent for free. It's just two three hours course. Um, you can learn mixed reality <coughs> meta presence platform skills, and then you can you're basically enabled to participate in the hackathon. Because what um, we want to see with all the challenge categories is basically that you, uh, yeah, that you can like have nice mixed reality app or game ideas and that's why this course is um important but of course if you can prove us that you already know mixed reality development then you don't need to take the course i hope that's clear exactly so it is not uh this hackathon is not to guide you to the course but to help you because we will also have lots of workshops as well before the hack starts so we just want to make sure that since meta presence platform is quite uh, like uh, lots of SDKs and it's quite new as well. Maybe you have been building for, for VR for many years, but for, I don't know, for the last one year, you didn't catch up so much. And this is amazing opportunity, especially for Quest 3 capabilities. This will be an amazing opportunity. And this use of capabilities criteria will exactly for this purpose to help you to, uh, to understand all these SDKs. So we are expecting you uh, especially for some of you, uh, we already look at applications. Uh, in the next few days, you will receive email from us. And uh, some of you will be conditionally accepted. This means that you will be accepted as long as you confirm that you are coming in person to the destination of uh, uh, whatever um, uh, city that you selected, right? Uh, and then also, as long as you go through the course, if you don't know, uh, mixed reality before or if you haven't gone through this course before okay so we will also accept them but uh, we ask you to come prepared because as you can imagine hackathon is a very short period of days right only maybe uh, two days right so you need to we don't want you to spend time on learning things rather than uh, like um, uh, like uh, implementing things right so we want to make sure that you are immediately starting to implement with enough uh, skill set that you are you recently equipped yeah and most of the questions about when are we going to reply to the applications we are working with high speed on that and we will definitely send um, the acceptance emails this week so um and i hope like rather sooner rather like tomorrow than any uh, point later um, but be with us and um, and yeah, please let us know if there is any um, visa issue, any visa invitations you need. Um, we will, of course, try to process your um, applications sooner. But yeah, we are definitely sending them out the acceptance emails this week. Um, mm. There will be conditional acceptance emails. And co as we said, conditional acceptance means that we don't um, <coughs> believe yet that you have the mixed reality skills that you need. <laughs> 
and then you will be asked to basically take the mixed reality course um again it's for free uh so yeah that's the two type of, types of emails we're going to send acceptance emails and conditional acceptance email and it's go, yeah. definitely going to come this week sam's question um is the course for programmers or designers also um i, I would answer this both for the course and for the hack if you want to be a little bit of prototyping and supporting your team a little bit of like a uh, not only design prototyping but actually unity based uh, development skills i think this uh, course is perfect opportunity you don't need to be senior or very advanced on unity to take the course it's a really follow along course but it makes you also get acquainted with the with the uh, whole tech stack uh, of the meta presence platform so even though you are a designer i would strongly suggest that you follow along it's a really almost like a netflix uh, tv series binge watching just uh, watch and then uh, follow along with that the course and then uh, you will already have an understanding especially from even a designer perspective um, and then you will a little bit get your hands dirty in terms of coding um, but if you say that okay i'm a perfect ui ux designer or artist i want to contribute to the hackathon or my hack team only as an artist which is completely fine for this kind of people if you have a team you are already building your team and then you are applying but if you don't have a team uh, we will probably accept you one two one week or two weeks later to make sure that we have enough uh developers to match you with right because as an artist or a designer uh, we cannot bring designers and artists together in one team and then expect them to meet uh these um requirements that i mentioned here right because it's also a development uh, requirement is there right so just to make sure that uh, we are matching you or we are at least uh, uh, accepting you a few weeks later uh, to make sure that you have enough developers out there looking for teams and then uh, please join the xr hack server uh, we are sharing that in the form right the XR yeah, yeah. Hack sam, server. Uh, and sam feel free to chime in if you want to speak uh there's yeah. like it's a normal zoom session you can always talk up and speak up if you want yeah yeah exactly I mean, we, yeah so the exactly. question is that like the course the mixed reality course is more for programmers and he's a designer sam is here i'm female Hi, I'm sorry, Sam. Um, yeah, so I generally lead on concept. So I'm not looking to, I, I'm looking to find someone to collaborate with, but like I'm a narrative designer. So I'm focused I, and I have a um, contemporary art background. So I'm used to designing things in, in sort of between the real and the virtual, let's say, but I am not a programmer. So if it's a course designed for a programmer, I will not be able to follow. Um, so it is significant. Do you see what you see what I mean? Like I can understand yeah. how. So it just be good to get some clarity, but also people are kind of chiming in without knowing what I do, saying, "Oh, just find someone to like watch and observe." But I'm actually looking because if I can't collaborate with someone to generate a concept, this is not for me. So I need to know now. You know. Yeah, as I mentioned to you, uh, you will be uh, joining team formation groups on Discord and also right before the hackathon so you will be able to be match yourself with another people who are looking for designers narrative designers game designers artists so it's a normal hackathon environment so we will we just want to make sure that uh, we have enough um how could i say um uh, homogeneity in the whole uh, uh, hackathon just to make sure that we have enough number of designers enough number of developers oh, and no, Jasmine's designers. Jasmine's Does that the, make uh, sense? Yeah. Sorry, could we just clarify whether this is a course for programmers, please? Because I know this, you this said... This is a course for programmers, but I have also seen many designers who are okay. not knowing coding go through that since it's almost like a follow along. But if you have never touched Unity before... I, I, know, I, know, I know Unity, but... but there's a difference you, you see what i mean there's a difference between knowing enough to work with it um and having to <sighs> programming okay so Sorry, um, uh, okay i understand your point i think um it's up to you if you just want to contribute as a 
narrative designer uh, concept uh, sorry uh, function in the hackathon hack team no problem uh, then you don't need to take the course at all but if you want to a little bit contribute on the unity side of things you are more than welcome to take so optional it's up to you uh, uh, you can definitely um, uh, decide and prefer accordingly if it makes sense how does it sound everything clear sam Yeah, I also uh, shared the Discord invite um, for people uh, to maybe connect with each other and form teams already in advance if they want. Um, and there's also another question. Can we work on past projects? Um, Summit works done recently. I see the hackathon is for two days. Does that mean we can only start working on a project from hackathon start date? Very nice question. Very nice question. Uh, before that, uh, I will also answer Zijun's question. You can submit again your application form. Uh, it will be a little bit difficult for us because there will be a duplicate, but yeah, our team will handle. So you can, if you have a new portfolio or something, you can submit, but uh, you can also, you need to understand that we are accepting rolling basis. So if you already submitted, most probably it's already being evaluated. I would, I just want to tell you that the moment that we come to the capacity, we will um, shut down the uh, application. Um, we will not accept more application. So the earlier you, uh, applied better for everyone I'm telling and regarding that project start question uh, it's two things right one is uh, this is a little bit different hackathon than maybe student hackathons that you are used to because um, we are accepting teams so let's say you have an I know studio that you want to bring three people five people from there by the way we are accepting teams from two to five uh, so um if you want to bring three people there and you want to join as a team, yes, you can. The very, very important part is we don't, of course, we don't want you to start your development of your project beforehand, but you can do ideation, you can do whatever you want uh, from a, like a conceptualization perspective to think with your team, etc. Uh, but uh, we also prefer that you also start ideation, but we cannot, of course, stop you. But if there's any code base or any kind of coding or unity started before hackathon this is not accepted and if we have realized that uh, unfortunately uh, the award can be taken from you so uh, very important that uh, you start the first code line in the first minutes of the hackathon not before that but you can have a brainstorming session or other things of course this is something that we cannot uh, we cannot uh, so much uh, check or uh, 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 how could I say um, uh, resist you know because this is something that if you are already a team you are probably thinking of a concept and uh, it's not a problem but no more no coding before hackathon starts please um, any other questions uh, by the way we we recorded this so if you want to send this to everyone anyone uh, from your uh, team or from your friends Feel free to do that. Any further questions? Please, please chime in. Uh, my microphone, uh, open your microphone and ask questions. If there's anything not clear. We have seven minutes before the graduation ceremony starts, so it's perfect time now to ask questions. Hey, sorry. Um, hey, dude. Um, so I'm just hey. got some questions about like, Using Arduino, could we integrate Arduino into our application or something like that, like for different sensors, so on and so forth? Very interesting. Uh, Very interesting. IoT, Arduino, uh, these kind of things are always, uh, we are always open. As long as, again, it comes to the point of these three judging criteria, if it is mixed reality, you can add Arduino and other uh, haptics devices, etc. these kind of things we will be more than happy to see but keep in mind that the more uh, i would say how can i say the more it is easy for like imagine that you are you are releasing that on meta quest store right app lab right imagine that the easier for you to make it reach out to masses i think your chance of uh, especially on the compelling concept uh, grading will be higher so Sure, Arduino is okay, but I'm just telling that um, Meta and the judges are really um, looking at 
how many people that this app can reach is this concept is something that we can roll out uh, tomorrow right so this is something that i would uh, consider um, so if it works without arduino support then amazing then uh, it's also a nice uh, add-on i would say of course i'm not the uh, judge so i'm not uh, i cannot tell exactly from their mind but this is definitely i would say uh, according to the previous hackathons that we joined with meta emil yeah other can you hear me now yes yeah good so my question is uh probably the first one was answered but uh, I, I was not for like two minutes on the call about the attending the hackathon even if we don't know how to code yet in xr using unreal engine uh and, and i watch the recording maybe later but the second will be about the about the ip of the project like will this be something public will it be something that will be owned by the team uh it will have to be transferred to i don't know to meta or to, to any other company uh, you know, what's like, what's the le the legal, the legal, uh, uh, the legality of behind, be behind what's created there, you know, it's yeah. like, how is that owned? Because you build something as exactly, maybe as, exactly. as, a, as a game at first, but then it became, it can became something serious and. Yeah. So, uh, very nice questions. Uh, first question, it's a similar to Sam's question. So, uh, you are more than welcome to join as a non-coding, non-developer function, art, design, sound, uh, whatever. But uh, if you have a chance to go over the course and then a little bit help on the unit side, feel free to go through the free course. So it's definitely possible. Just make sure that you state that clearly on your application, okay? So we can make the matchmaking or you can actually express yourself when the team formation happens, right? That's very important. Second IP question. Very nice question. There are 200 projects being uh, submitted here and everyone owns their own project. Meta just and us have the right to utilize the uh, videos and visuals to make marketing around this. Other than that, the IP and ownership is definitely on your side. Um, and furthermore, right, like as you see, this probably the hackathon. This hackathon is the probably the biggest price ex, uh, price pool in terms of XR. I haven't seen anyone even close to that price pool. Um, but in addition to that, Meta just announced um, accelerator programs, which is quite bigger uh, amount than this. Uh, they will also guide you if you are a winner. They will also guide you to this kind of incubation and accelerator program. So you can even go further. This, as you know, this is a prize pool, right? It will be distributed by multiple teams. But uh, just to make sure that you have even chance to even get more funding, and then also open your app towards uh, store publishing. Uh, one example: uh, this is a, a project which is just uh, I think a few months ago, two months ago. Uh, go through the hackathon you are basically having art uh, here uh, art uh, project uh, and uh, you can actually create a uh, drawing with quest uh, and now they are really in a good shape that they are getting a lot of support from meta on top of the award or the prize that they won and uh, now meta is closely supporting uh, this this team as well so um it's all about like see this hackathon as a first step towards maybe your success in the store right so meta is supporting that to make sure that they clearly filter the most interesting ones and uh, one more important thing that i want to clearly mention every city here has their own small uh local prize pool and the winners of every city every four city as you see here will be also having another opportunity to uh, to uh, compete for the 140k prize pool so you may win two two uh, two prizes one is local and then on top of that if you are a winner you will also be nominated for the global prize pool and it will be decided after all the four locations uh, hack winners are complete and on top of that, again, 
meta uh, other funding opportunities will be open to these winners. Uh, there was one more question, Thomas, uh, because we have to really wrap up in a few minutes. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, if you have more questions, please always write us to hello at exabootcamp.com. I think it's clear that the prize pool, um, there's local prize pools, which are only for the local hackathons. And then um, there's like the global prize pool, which is basically distributed um, among all hackathon winners. So um, I hope that's clear. And yeah, we will um, move on to the graduation, to the Exa Foundations and Prototyping graduation ceremony now. And we want to start on time. So yeah, um, if there's any more questions, please write us an email. Um, we are always, or contact us on LinkedIn. That's also always um, nice because it's very fast. <laughs> and then we can also do one more info session probably next month. Uh, yeah, but don't do forget it. to submit your applications because we are um, accepting. I mean, we're going to do the first rollout of acceptance email this week as soon as possible. So apply as soon as possible because at some point the slots are filled. Exactly. And uh, what we also ask from you uh, is if you already have friends uh, that you know that they will benefit from this, uh, whenever you get acceptance e email, I, hopefully, uh, please feel free to share on uh, on Discord, on social media. So uh, we will reach uh, to the top studios and top uh, developers, uh, hoping to support them through their journey.